so welcome back to another confirmed transfer episode. Now, I want to say a big thank you to you lot before we start off, okay? Big thank you to you lot. Last episode, I asked for 600 likes, okay? And if we got 600 likes, I was going to drop a FIFA point code in the chat for you. Now, thank you very much. We hit 600. You know, every try every video, we're trying to prog progress, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So, we hit 1,000 likes. Insane stuff, okay? Really, really thank you for you lot for that, basically. I dropped a FIFA point code in the previous comment section of that video. But this video, we're going to do the same. We're going to do the same. So, if you lot think you can beat 1,000 likes, you know, which is obviously what we got in the previous video. If you think that's possible, I'll drop another FIFA point code in the chat. It's up to you. Can we do it? I, I, you've proven already you can do it. So can we do it again? Let's move into the first player then. Anyway, whilst I leave that with you guys, don't forget a Facebook link is in the description. A live stream fee for every single day over there. Hope to see you more over there and obviously watching me and stuff like that. So the first player is Sergio Ramos. Now I want to just warn you guys here, okay? We don't know which club he's going to be going to, but we can confirm... The Madrid captain is going to leave Real Madrid finally. Now, okay, Florentino Perez has confirmed that Sergio Ramos wants to leave Real Madrid. He's asked to leave in a free transfer, basically. The Spanish centre-back, okay, who's contracted until the summer 2021, but wants to take his career to the Chinese Super League, all right? Sergio Ramos leaving Real Madrid. It just doesn't sound right. Now, there's a few clubs that have piped up that are obviously interested. Man United being one of them. You know, I think PSG are interested in him. But apparently, apparently, Chinese Super League wages are going to be ridiculous, okay? Now, Perez says he was told by Ramos, 33 years of age, that and his agent that he had received a very good offer from an unnamed club that they could not pay a fee. But they could not pay a fee. So they offered him, like, big wages, big bonuses, all that good stuff. But he said, look, we can't pay a fee for you. But he told... Ramos, it's impossible for Real Madrid to let their captain go for free. So there we go. We do not know exactly where he's going to go to, but the Chinese Super League looks like the number one destination. Uh, Man United looked like another destination. PSG looked like another destination. Put it in the comments down below. Which team do you think Sergio Ramos is going to go to? Put it in the comments. Let's hear it. Next up, we've got Hazard confirmed at transfer. Not Eden Hazard, Falcon Hazard. He's confirmed he has gone to Borussia Dortmund. Okay, for this actually two or three days ago now, so I'm a little bit behind on this one. Borussia Dortmund signed winger from rivals München Gladbach. Back. Borussia Dortmund have signed a Belgian international Falcon Hazard from fellow Bundesliga side Borussia Mönchengladbach, which I've already said. The 26-year-old midfielder, younger brother, uh, brother of Eden Hazard, has signed a five-year deal for a reported £30 million. Pounds. Now, obviously, Leverkusen finished, you know, runners-up in the Bundesliga last year, and they are ready to splash some cash to get some new signings to make sure they win the league next year. Now, this guy is a former Chelsea youth player. He spent five years at Mönchengladbach. Okay, he's won 21 caps of Belgium. He's part of the squad that finished third at last his World Cup. His form this season has actually made him link or had him linked with Liverpool and Arsenal. Two clubs both interested in signing him. But for him, he's decided I need to stay in, in, in Germany, of course. And Borussia Dortmund seems like the number one choice. So there we go. One of the main reasons for my change is that B, uh, BVB narrowly missed the title last season. So there's room for improvement. That's what he's come out and said. Let's see what happens next year in the Bundesliga. It's going to be interesting. Whilst I'm here, I might as well focus on the third player, okay? Another Borussia Dortmund signing, okay? We've got Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt has also moved to Borussia Dortmund. Now, he's another guy who's, you know, was well established in the Bundesliga before he signed for Borussia Dortmund. So, I think a lot of German fans will all know about this guy. So, they signed this guy on a five-year deal once again for a bargain 25 million euros, which isn't that actually big these days in football. you got to be honest. It's not... Football money is, is crazy these days. The former Bayer Leverkusen man turned down approaches from Liverpool, Tottenham and Manchester United to name a few to complete his move to Borussia Dortmund. That's that's three big clubs there in the Premier League interested in him. And he's turned them all down and he said, I'm staying in Germany. So Borussia Dortmund, of course, you know, they've come second. They come runners up in the Bundesliga last year. They are investing heavily in the squad. This is something that I think they need to do, obviously. They just need that little bit more to get up to Bayern Munich's level, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Falken Hazard's one. Julian Brandt is another. And I tell you what, who's going to be the fourth? It's another Borussia Dortmund signing. Nico Schulz, okay? Another big signing from another Bundesliga club for Borussia Dortmund. It's, uh, they are going in. It's safe to say they've had a good week of transfers. Now, this guy is a German left-back, I believe, as well. His first-choice German left-back at the minute, okay, which is uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. So, they've snapped this guy up for £22 million as well. So, they've you know they've spent, I mean, £70, £80 million or whatever, you know, amongst these three players so far, this transfer window, all from the Bundesliga. So, all players that know the league pretty well, and they've cherry-picked, all right? They've cherry-picked. They've gone to Leverkusen. Got one of their best players. They've gone to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Got one of their best players. 
And now they've gone to Hoffenheim and got one of their best players as well. So they're just cherry picking the league, really, of all the best players. So he's also signed a five year deal. They just seem to be handing out five year deals in a minute through to the summer 2024. And he'd be reunited with the former head coach, Lucien Fav Favre, Favre, whatever his name is, okay, who actually worked up Bruce Dortmund, which I'm glad back previously. So there we go, Bruce Dortmund making some big signings in the transfer window so far. All confirmed stuff. Ramos, the only person in this video not to have a confirmed club. But to be confirmed, he's on his bike. If that's the right way to say it, I don't know. So next up, we've got Valbuena. Now, Valbuena, believe it or not, is actually still in the world of football. He's gone to Olympiacos, okay? They've signed him from Fenerbahce, the French veteran midfielder. Is that? I can't believe this guy's actually still playing. It seems like ages ago I remember hearing his name. But he signed a one-year deal with Olympiacos, okay? The Greek Super League club announced on Monday. Uh, Valbuena, 34, played for France from 2010 to 2015 before a sex tape scandal and alleged blackmail to get a smartphone back. Saw him and Karim Benzema lose their place in the French set up. It's all mad. This football life is all mad. Now, Valbuena actually come out and said, I'm very happy and enthusiastic to be in Greece. The last two seasons, Valbuena has played for a Turkish side, Fenerbahce, making 71 appearances for them, scoring 12 goals and getting 24 assists. I can't believe it. Valbuena, he's still making money moves. Actually, that was a free transfer. But he's still out there. He's still out there making moves. That's for sure. Anyway, guys, there you go. There has been the end of the video for you. The transfers confirmed ones are a little bit slim this week. There's quite a few I can do here. I'm looking at my list. I go through everything every single every other day really i do check all the transfers every day probably i actually check them to be fair now there's loads of players that have actually you know you know been released from their clubs are officially without clubs and stuff which there's no point in me featuring really in these episodes until they find a new club you know their transfer episodes are not necessarily you know players just getting released ramos one's interesting because you know, that's one of the biggest names in football. He's going to be leaving. He's announced he wants to leave. And it could be going to the Chinese Super League and stuff like that. So, stuff like that is interesting. But for me to announce, you know, no disrespect, Gareth Barry, now been released from West Brom. We'll make a nice slide of Gareth Barry. We talk about, we don't know where he's going. He's at contract. He's 38. Where's he going? What's he doing? Like, you guys don't particularly really care about that sort of information, all right? So, I try to save it. I try to just focus on transfers. Players that have guaranteed found new clubs and stuff like that. I mean, the list goes on. Abate, released. Leroy Fur released. James Morrison, released. Gareth Barry, released. Wesley Houlihan, released. I mean, Will Keane, released. Danny Williams, released. I mean, Markovic, uh, the ex-Liverpool guy, you know, released. There's so many players here that have just been moved to now without a club. But because they haven't got a new club, it is pointless me featuring really in the episode, guys. So that's all I'm going to say on the matter for that one. So yes, guys, you know what to do on this episode. If you want to see more and you want a FIFA point giveaway, let's get to 1,000 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. You smashed it on the previous episode, which I was, to be fair, I was quite surprised about. I said, oh, let's get over 600. Um, but he went and got... Well, you lot, but I say he, you lot went and got over a thousand, so it was way above the expectation, nearly double the expectation to be fair. And as a thank you, once this video hits 1,000 likes, I'll be dropping another FIFA point code in the chat. Could be Xbox, could be PlayStation, you'll just have to wait and see. If you go to the previous video, check the comments, you'll notice which code it was, so might be the opposite. Anyway guys, don't forget, Facebook link is in the description, go over there, follow me, I live stream FIFA every single day. Has been posted as always, guys, take it easy, peace. So strong in the So once again, I filmed some of my FIFA uh, live stream of down Facebook. Like I said, link is in the description if you want to follow me over there. I recorded my guaranteed uh, team of the season pack for the Portuguese league. I recorded it. I don't know what to do with the footage. It's going to go to waste. So I thought I might as well chuck it in the end of this video because um, a few of you quite enjoyed what I did the other video the other day. I chucked in some, you know, end of stuff FIFA footage over there. So yeah, enjoy this at the end of the video, basically. I don't know who this is going to be. I, what's the worst case scenario? I think, I don't know, I just want Royce, man. Royce has fucking sorted me right out. This pack sorted me out because it means the title's no longer clickbait. So thank you, yeah? <laughs> so, here we go. Let's go. Let's open it up. Let's go. Oh! Oh! 
Oh. Oh no, summer. I tell you what, summer ninety five rated though, James. Yeah, it's not bad. I just swap that shit for a ninety five rated card. Like, it's, not, it's not bad, is it? In, in that sense, it's actually. I mean, it's a night. Uh, what is he? A 120, 130k player. That literally would make the 89 SBC for Maldini easy as.